time you headed home from work or school, we should be dry. Here's what we look like this morning. This is the view from our Galleria Tower camera in Hoover. Uh, quite a bit of rain falling at this point. Even where the rain isn't actively falling, the roads are wet. So for everybody, likely to be a slower uh, morning commute than what you're generally used to on a dry day. Here's what the radar has looked like. We've had this rain moving through all throughout the overnight hours, so that means quite a bit of rain around uh, on the roads. They are wet. This is where the rain is right now. So there are a couple heavier pockets of rain that stretch from Lamar County into northern Fayette uh, over towards Walker County into Jasper. Oniana with a pocket of heavier rain. We've just seen this heavier pocket uh, move through Shelby County. It's on its way towards Talladega County, Calhoun County, Etowah County into Cleburne, southern Cherokee County, uh, where you have those yellows and oranges. That's a little bit heavier rain, but uh, raining really across much of central Alabama. Usually I'd zoom you down and I'd show you where exactly the rain is happening pretty much everywhere really across our entire state could be worse though. At least we're talking rain. Look to our north. They're dealing with quite a bit of snow across portions of Illinois into Missouri. Uh, so hey, you know what? We'll take the rain over the snow for the morning commute. Temperatures are chilly. We're in the 40s and 50s. So it's one of those mornings where you're going to want to layer the jacket and the rain gear as you're headed out the door. By the afternoon, we only range anywhere from the low to mid 50s. That's going to be cooler than where we were yesterday and quite a bit below average for this time of year. Average high for this date, 65 degrees. I'm forecasting casting 53 in Birmingham. So let's break down the rest of the day hour by hour starting at 7 a.m. Here's that rain we've got going on right now. It keeps spreading eastward, so showers are likely still through 9 a.m. At lunchtime, the, most of the rain is confined east of I-65. We're drying in our westernmost communities. Temperatures don't move all that much. And then eventually by the later part of the afternoon, that's when we're done with the rain. Clouds hang with us. We're still in the 40s and 50s. Uh, and then as we head into the evening hours, we'll start to see some of that cooler, drier air filter in. That's going to help to kind of erode that cloud cover, uh, making for a dry forecast the rest of the week and into the weekend. Worth noting, there's a low wind chance for a strong storm or two right along the Gulf Coast today. Not anticipating any kind of thunderstorm action over central Alabama. We just don't have any instability. Any kind of instability is going to be confined right to the immediate coastline. Could see an additional maybe half inch of rain in some locations, but the overall intensity of that rain is going to be tapering through the morning hours as it starts to come to an end. Big story is going to be our temperatures. So this is a cold front. It's going to bring us some cooler air and we will feel that, especially on Thursday. Highs do not make it out of the 40s. A lot of locations are going to be in the 40s every day through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. I'm forecasting a mixture of 40s and 50s each afternoon. At least we have the sunshine that helps out a little bit, but morning lows will be at or below the freezing mark. We're talking widespread 20s Thursday all the way through Sunday during the morning hours.